Hello there. Welcome to Breakfast All Day, friends. Good to see you. We missed you. I'm Christy. That is Alonzo. Matt is here somewhere in the world. Next up for us is Snake Eyes. It is a G.I. Joe origin story because everyone gets an origin story, even Hasbro toys. Yeah. So <laughs> did you want the backstory of Snake Eyes? Too bad. You're getting it anyway. Um, <laughs> we we open with uh, uh, the character as a child uh, who is with his father in a safe house somewhere. And uh, it's not all that safe because an assassin shows up and uh, lets, uh, lets the kid's dad roll the dice to see if he's going to live or die. And of course he rolls snake eyes and uh is killed the son runs away and um spends his life doing like underground fight clubby stuff <laughs> trying to find the killer of his father he is hired by the yakuza and brought to the united states um but very quickly when he is asked to kill somebody he can't and so winds up running off with Tommy, uh, who turns out to be the inheritor of a powerful Japanese clan who takes Snake Eyes under his wing. But of course, there is the threat of Cobra and stuff and Snake Eyes having to figure out what side he's on. And oh boy, this is a PG-13 rated martial arts movie based on a cartoon adapted from toys. <laughs> And that's impossible. what we're dealing with here. And the thing is, like, let's say you don't even care about these characters and you're just there for the action, right? Because, like, yes. Nico Uweiss from the Raid movies. Is <laughs> Another it. American movie with no fucking clue what to do with Eco Uweiss. <laughs> so Robert Schwenke directed this, and he did the second and mm. third Divergent movies. The third Divergent Ooh. movie was so bad, it was supposed to have been two movies because they always split the third book into right. two movies. Like, the third movie was so bad that they just said, fuck it, we're going to put the second half of this straight to video. And did it even happen? Like, uh, did that movie ever even come into the world? I have no memory of ever seeing. We, <laughs> I don't know we, that it did. I think they just reviewed killed them. the franchise. Yeah. We reviewed the first three. Mm. Um, and he also did R.I.P.D. and Red. And yeah. he has no sense. You would think no. these are all action movies. You would think he would have, at some point along the way, <laughs> have acquired a sense of, like, how to stage and shoot an action sequence. And it's so incomprehensible so if you're just there for the action like i want to watch henry golding kick ass i want to watch eco wise kick ass like you can't tell what anyone is doing to anybody else it is shaky cam and mm -hmm. also like edited super erratically it's impossible to follow, which is a problem when it's a movie about super secret ninjas. Yes, I, I've made the joke before <laughs> that like the, the if you're going to edit a movie, a martial arts movie this much, you might as well star Betty White in it because <laughs> like no one is doing a full range of motion or anything. Yeah, this movie is choppy. The storytelling is dopey. I was bored out of my mind. Uh, you know, like. I get it in terms of like, I'm not a GI Joe person, the, 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 the toys, the cartoons, none of this ever meant anything to me. Nope. And so I get when people talk about like going to superhero movies and there's like all these Easter eggs for the people who are the comics. And it's just like, there's nothing that, there for them, but it's like, I feel like you could, if you walked into most Marvel movies, knowing absolutely nothing about the comic books or the, whatever the backstory of these characters were, you would leave with something. Yeah. You would find something, either the performances or the storytelling or the action or something would be like, okay, well, I'm new to this, but I, I, I see the appeal. This is fine. The comedy. The comedy, anything. Mm -hmm. There is, I had nothing to hang on to here, you know? And even the, even the like, the the the, the Easter eggs they do throw at you in this movie, from what I, from what, I, what I've heard from talking to people who are actually fans of, of this franchise are like, pointless and complicated like what they, are the easter eggs they, well okay the, w when we find out at the end that that you know snake eyes nemesis is storm shadow you know they've set that up because there's some line about like oh you 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 know the your face is you look like a cloud that you know the, the, with the shadow of a sword like some nonsense <laughs> thing like that and like the dude's name in japanese translates to storm shadow you know it's i like, saw we, that in bib's review on the rap yes we, Kage means storm shadow exactly we didn't need that little extra filigree of bad dialogue to set up this character name you know so just yeah i, I don't i don't see the point of it. like henry golding is a movie star mm -hmm. and if you're a patreon member then you heard us recently do a review of a film that he did that not a lot of people saw called monsoon it's on netflix you should check it out um 
but even with his charisma, like there's just this, this movie just lies there. And there are a lot of, you know, a lot of terrific cast members, Eco Weiss, like, come on, mm -hmm. come on. If you haven't seen the two raid movies, like you're missing out on some of the best martial arts cinema, like in the history of martial arts and cinema. Uh, and yeah. then they put him in these movies in the U S in English, where they don't take advantage of his extraordinary abilities. And it's just getting annoying. And he's playing a guy named Hard Master, <laughs> right? Like the possibilities for how badass this guy should be are endless <laughs> and he does not get to do anything. Yeah, it's it's pretty sad. And, and uh, I was reminded a lot of the recent also dumb Mortal Kombat movie, actually. Oh, the, right. the whole like, go to the, 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 the fancy, you know, estate to be trained to be the blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh. Right, he has these three ninja challenges he has to pass in order to show he is worthy of being taken in by this super secret ninja clan and the first two like kind of breeze by like but then the third one is so supremely stupid like yeah. i wish i wish i were sitting with you to watch it. <laughs> it's so fake and so dumb looking and like so unintentionally hilarious and then they bring it back a second time <laughs> i'm like ah oh. like the, the effects look so stupid and then yeah. um it's there are some female characters in it like samara weaving is mm -hmm. i guess one of the gi joe characters her name is scarlet i don't yeah. like i also am not in any way like knowledgeable about this world yeah you get scarlet you get the baroness the baroness you know, uh, <laughs> can I tell you a thing that bugged but that really bugged me? And this will, you know, you enjoy geography. Uh, I know how oh, much our oh, listeners. Yeah. I thought you were say her heels, but okay. That too. How does the Baroness <laughs> walk in these fucking heels? Like at, at first, she's just kind of standing there because they're like super, super high, spiky stiletto boots. And then later on, when she has to run, like she had the foresight to change shoes. I know. I was looking like <laughs> you're not still wearing those stilettos, are you? Come on, girl. No, but the thing, you know, I know how much our listeners enjoy talking about Los Angeles geography with us so there's an aerial shot of the port of los angeles because the mm. job that that snake eyes has and that's actually his name we don't have a real first yeah name. he never it's not no. like steve <laughs> <laughs> his name is snake eyes and so people were like snake snake how's it going but there's like an aerial shot like a drone shot like flying into they say is the port of los angeles and it is because the hill I live on is behind it. Palos Verdes mm -hmm. is behind it. I'm like, oh, cool. I live there on the other side of that hill. And then once they come out of whatever warehouse they're in on the docks, it's like clearly Vancouver <laughs> or something because like the hill is gone and it's all foggy and it's like red brick buildings now and it's not the port of LA. <laughs> I did not catch that. <laughs> uh, the, the, one, the, the most interesting woman in the film was Haruka Abe as Akiko, but even she doesn't get a ton to do. Um, and yeah, this is just, you know, the, frankly, the coolest snake eyes thing that we've seen in a G.I. Joe movie is still that bit with the snow ninjas in one of the previous movies. I forget which one. I think it was G.I. Joe Retaliation because I went I think, back and I watched our review of it on What the Flick. OK, I think you're right. But I have yeah. no memory. Channing Tatum the, was in it. Right. The whole thing with the mountain fortress, like that's pretty groovy. Nothing in this movie is remotely as cool as that. I so. have no memory of that movie either, but there is evidence that we saw it and talked about I it. I just remember the snow ninjas part. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm saying 2.5. I said 4.5, you know, because like they at least went out of their way to cast cool people, you know, so I'm glad all those folks got paid. Uh, I just wish they'd also been given like, you know, roles to play and dialogue to say that was not inane. But anyway, eh. Henry Goulding will be fine. Yes. Right? He's a superstar. He's charismatic as hell, despite this movie making every effort to like tamp all those qualities down. Yes. Smart weaving will be fine. And Eco Ways hopefully will just like get out of Hollywood and go back to a, a film industry that understands what, what he can do. Yeesh. Anyway, uh, so what's ours? That's a three and a half average? 3.5 is our number. 3.5. It is exclusively in theaters and don't bother. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out at Be Fast All Day on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And oh, you should be looking at our Patreon page at patreon.com slash Be Fast All Day. This week, we begin our recap of season two of Ted Lasso, which is, I'm just so thrilled that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And next week for our Off the Menu, our subscribers have chosen, we will be talking about Richard Donner's cut of Superman 2. So you don't want to miss that. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.